Hi, my name is Vanessa Lack. I'm a licensed clinical social worker in the state of North Carolina. In the last two years, the questions about marketing in some way, shape, or form have come up in about 200 times. <laughs> I'm not kidding. About 200 times. That's a lot. That's like a wild amount. A lot of questions coming up. So I'm going to share some things that I do that I think will be very helpful for other people in the group and licensed mental health clinicians in general, most likely. So, so for starters, um, professional photos are a big issue. Um, so I get my professional photos three different ways, three different ways I get them in no particular order. I hire a professional photographer, I DIY branding photos myself, and I have my husband who is generous enough, generous enough to take some photos of me to do so. I'm going to explain in those three steps, like three different ones, exactly how I go about each one to make it work. And I'm also going to share the results, recent results of the product of that work and I go over that. Okay. So disclaimer, if you are using zoom, make sure that when you go to pause the recording, um, or screen share that your microphone is still connected because mine was not, it eliminated, deleted all of the recording that I had and um, it's gone. So now I'm having to do this audio narration voiceover over the video. Okay, so this is Earl Morgan. He's the professional photographer I hired in November to take some photos of me. Um, I have had a lot of difficulty hiring photo photographers in the past and chosen not to for various reasons. One of them has to do with accessibility and price, and also um, a lot of photographers not in my area not wanting to release intellectual property rights, which is a deal breaker for me. I need to make sure that all of my uh, photos belong to me and that no one can come back to me later on and say that there's an issue or I have to do something or dictate to me how I can utilize those photos essentially. Um, so I have a contract, I drafted it up uh, myself, and basically it was everything that we verbally agreed to, you know, what I'm going to pay method of payment, where we're going to meet, um, how long it's going to take and that the intellectual property rights of the photos belong to me. So, uh, Earl was great to work with. He was flexible. And so if you're in the North Carolina area, um, he's on LinkedIn. I found him on a photography directory, but he is on LinkedIn. And so FYI about see other things about him. He's a military veteran that goes to business conferences that are focused at um, military veteran small businesses across the country. And he takes professional photos there as well. And he wants to do more business branding photography work in the future. So this is not legal or professional advice of any kind. Consult with an attorney for more information. Need to know for intellectual property rights or contracts or whatnot. I have not been to law school. I'm not an attorney, but this is just what I do, my experience, and how I operate, essentially. This may or may not be helpful for you, FYI. Okay, so these are the results um, of the work that I did with him. This is my favorite photo from that. There were several photos, but this is my favorite one. I'm playing actually on my website, this photo as of the recording of this, which is December 23rd, um, divorcingadults.com. I have it in my about section. Okay, so the second thing that I do and like to do is DIY branding photography. I learned about this through basically internet searches. I have a check sheet, checklist sheet that I got from a professional photographer's website out in Tennessee. I was actually going to provide the link to that website, but I couldn't find it. I think I may have found it, but I couldn't find the exact page. Whatever the case, there are so many websites I now realize from professional photographers giving out this information. You too can find it. There are videos on it. I prefer the printout. It's a little bit more convenient for me. It showed me step-by-step -step basically how to do a DIY branding business photography photo shoot totally on my own. And um, it had things like poses and it had things like, you know, what you might take pictures of in your workspace and stuff like that. It really worked for me. I actually got a tripod um, and I use ring lights as well, which I've always, I've had for a long time now to help me out with my lighting. And that is about seven feet. I think it's really tall, very literally has a flexible head. Um, and so these are some of the tools that I find to be helpful, very inexpensive can be uh, purchased online at wherever you choose. And so I'm really happy with this option because no matter how I feel or what's going on, I'm able to 
take control essentially of getting some professional photos and having things that are fresh and up to date for my private practice marketing purposes. Okay, so this is the product, some of the product of the DIY branding photography shoot that I did myself. Um, I did this all by myself. No one assisted me with this. Um, I learned how to do this just by internet searches. And so here are some of the photos. These are photos of myself. I already have some of these posted online, like on my LinkedIn profile, social media like YouTube and TikTok that I created for this purpose of basically sharing some of basically my ways I do things. So it's already coming in very handy. Having a friend or family member that has a great camera phone take photos of you. Um, a lot of people have someone in their friend circle or family circle that loves taking photos and has one of those extremely expensive phones and will happily do so. So for me, my husband does this. He doesn't love taking photos. However, he helps me out and he does have a better phone than I do. So his camera's pretty great. Here are some of the results from some photos that we took yesterday. And I'm very happy with these. These actually are not photo edited. My other photos, like the ones from the DIY branding, um, I used a Google photo editing app to retouch those, specifically Google One, I believe it's called. It's $1.99 per month. And I was able to just do one month, cancel it. And so it will not auto renew on me. There's a ton of photo editing apps out there. That's just the one I'm familiar with. Okay, so some other just tidbits of information are, um, I don't utilize this, but it's called Brighter Vision. I was actually interviewed by them back in 2018 on their podcast. They used to release regular episodes. I don't think that they do anymore, but they used to. And it's a very helpful podcast. You may still find some of that information helpful out there. I believe it's still published. This is their website. They are well known for making well, websites for uh, licensed mental health clinicians across America. Um, the owner founder of the company used to make websites for people in a different industry and then niche down essentially to licensed mental health clinicians. They now have expanded and they offer multiple services and tools and whatnot above and beyond websites. But it is something where a number of people I've known and know of have had their websites and some have them indefinitely, the websites through them, and some do it for a period of time, and then move on, maybe decide to choose a different option. There's tons of options, including, you know, a lot of people DIYing it or whatnot. So anyways, again, they've expanded their options and here are some of the um, different types of websites that they've built or templates that they have to build websites for licensed clinicians. It's something to consider. The reason I don't utilize this type of service is because I don't need it. I've been building websites on my own since before web builders existed. Um, back in 2010, I built the for my first website from scratch with a very difficult to use software and I'm well versed in building websites and I continue to to this very day so I don't have this need but um it's an excellent option potentially for um potentially for some that do for those that do and like I said I've heard really great feedback from a number of clinicians that have utilized it and I see currently a number of clinicians continue to utilize the service so this, uh, this is just one of many options that may or may not meet your needs and wants and expectations. All right, so this is one other option. This is something that I utilize. It's called Feedbird. Um, I've utilized it only for about a month and it's actually been for uh, my brand woman military veteran and for marketing it has nothing to do with my private practice, just to be clear. However, this is considered a digital marketing company of sorts. They are very affordable, comparatively speaking to other companies that I have consulted with in years past. These types of companies are popping up and increasingly common. I think this so one... since 2020 companies like this have abounded. Basically, these are the kind of the more innovative modern day digital marketing companies. There's no magic thing about marketing. It's a moving target and it's just a lot of different things that have to constantly be reevaluated and readjusted to see what works for your mental health practice to get the word out about the work that you do and the people that you need to reach. So I remember in years past when I was starting on private practice around 2018, communicating with a marketing, couple of different marketing firms and 
through the years and the fees that they want to charge were just absolutely exorbitant. I remember thinking there is no, like, I don't think I can make that money back. It was so much money. And then one of the companies I'd done my research on and they did not have good reviews. They had very mixed reviews. And so I did not move forward with them. Um, one of the other companies, even though I didn't move forward with them, I learned a lot from them about what they would do. And quite frankly, I implemented it myself and I got great results and I did it for free. However, while things can be done for free, time and energy is a uh, comes at a premium and I've spent a lot of time and energy in my marketing efforts through the years. Um, also I'm a military spouse, so I've moved around a lot. And let me tell you, military lifestyle is not conducive to a career. So I've had a lot of starting and stopping on my journey in a mental health private practice and work that I've done. These, these options so are just some options and I'd love to hear your thoughts on this and I wish you all the best.